Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Arifin and I'm Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in the U.S. Excuse my throat. <clears> throat> got a little loud playing bingo last night, rooting for everybody. It was family night bingo at my local hub center and um, lots of kids. I take my grandson, my daughter went with me, my aunt with me. We had several friends at our table and it was just a great night of fun. It, it was nothing else I could say but fun. We had a couple of winners, not not me, not my grandson, but we had a couple of winners at our table. It was great fun. So <clears throat> today we're going to be doing a fun fold card that I did a previous video on. But this one we're using the Splendid Day Suite. All the products I've got. Um <clears throat> it all out on my table so um I want to I don't have a card to show you okay this is a card I will be doing for my uh, fun fold card class um so what are we using let me show you the suite and from the catalog this is one side of it page 64 in the mini catalog turn it over here okay we have this stamp set in these dies, <clears throat> these little trinkets, some soft seafoam ribbon, and this great foil paper. I'll give you a little close-up look at some of the sheets because I have them out on my desk. I have this one, this one, this one, great patterns, um, and this one is lovely, the soft seafoam. I love this, and I don't know if you can see, there's a little ladybug right there. So. Um, <clears throat> I didn't want to use this, uh, suite of products that's being used in the Creativity Now event that Stampin' Up! is holding. Uh, today is, the day of this video that I'm actually recording is, uh, June 18th. And so I've already cut my products for that event. So now I can use up everything else. So let's get started here. I'm going to set my catalog aside and my whiteboard. Um, I did write on the whiteboard if you wrote it. This is a card that I cased from Connie Stewart's uh, YouTube channel. Simply Simple Stamping. So what do we have besides that? I have some photo paper or glossy paper. If you have some of the old Stamping Up glossy paper, that's what this is. Just scraps. A uh, basic white from my... Um, little scrap box of basic white pieces. So I'm setting those aside. Um, I'm going to be showing you some die cutting with our little mini die cut and emboss machine. These will be the uh, dies that I am physically cutting out for you. So I'm going to set those aside. Um, the stamps we're going to be using today. We're going to be using this one that says much love in your new life together. This one this one, this one that says, let's celebrate, and this will be little b. So those are all going to go up here. Let me move my water, set those up. And I already showed you the, uh, there's a better look at the dies, minus the ones that are out, and the stamp set. Let's set that way over there. Now, um, we are going to start with the actual card base. And then you have seen me do uh, my fun folds. I like to make a paper template of them. And I keep them all. <clears throat> so this helps me to know exactly what I'm doing. So I don't got to look it up. I have them all. I keep a sample of the actual card. Usually stapled or paper clipped to it. So first of all, you were going to need... A piece of cardstock that is five and a half by eleven. That means that it's being cut this way and not this way, and it's not being cut at four and a half. It's being cut at five and a half. That's really, really important. So we're not going to be cutting because I've already cut it. We're going to be using our scoring blade. So we are going to score at one and three quarters of an inch, which is right here. If you're wondering, I can take my washi tape off. That was to mark one and five eighths on there. Okay. I'm just going to set that on my little machine here. So 
we want to be at one and three quarters, which is right here. And like I said, we're scoring. So we're scoring at one and three quarters. Then go to three and a half and score again. Now, I just take it out, turn it around, <clears throat> and repeat. So we're back at one and three quarters. And three and one half. Okay, now I'm going to do this again just to show you. So it is five and a half this way by 11. So usually five and a half, so you cut it with the cardstock this way. This time you're cutting it five and a half, one in three quarters. Score, not cutting, score. Three and a half, score, <clears throat> turn it, and repeat. So one and three quarters, and three and one half. Now that is all the scoring you'll need to do. So I'm going to put this away because everything else is cut and prepped. I need a bone folder. <clears throat> so... On the inner score line, I am folding inwards. This one towards the outer side, I'm folding back. Okay, I'm going to turn it around just because it's my habit. Okay, the inner score line, I am folding inwards. The one towards the outer piece of the cardstock, I'm folding back. Now, you will have this about half an inch gap there. That is what you want. That is our card base. I'm going to stick my uh, <clears throat> other one I cut and scored aside. So, you can see this is my pattern. Cut one at five and a half by 11, score at one and three quarters and three and a half then turn score again on the other end. That is what we just accomplished. Now we're going to set this aside and I'm going to, you can see all my little pieces of paper here. Um, I did change a few measurements from Connie Stewart's card. I added a three and a quarter inch square. You need one. And we're going to get into our little handy dandy envelope and you'll see all our little pieces and some more um, die cuts I have. So this piece here is a piece of fresh freesia. It is cut at three and a quarter square. Um, you can have it for a coordinating piece of cardstock or the same color as your card base. This is a coordinating color of fresh freesia. So there's that. My next square is cut it three by three and it's either the same color of the card base or coordinating color and in this case it's uh, soft sea foam so I can do it like this and these you just need one of each so I'm gonna lay those like so in this piece you need to cut one at two and three quarters by two and three quarters a basic white or vanilla and mine is basic white <coughs> Next, this is where my measurement um, changed, and I did not, I just realized, I did not write that this piece is for the middle on this. So, this is for the middle, and you'll understand once we get there. So, I cut one, um, let me see where it's at. Happens to be in fresh freesia, and I don't know why I did it that way, but I'm going with it. Okay, fresh freesia one and eight sixteenths by four, same color of card base for the middle or a coordinating color. And I did the fresh freesia. Then we have two pieces at one and three quarters by four of the same colored card base, and I've got two a soft sea foam. Then you need three pieces of DSP cut at one and five eighths by three and three quarters. And these are the three I have chosen from the Splendid Day Suite. This soft sea foam with the white, this copper, and this fresh freesia. And that's this is where I'm bringing the fresh freesia cardstock into. So all of those are cut and ready. So 
let's get started with putting this card together. So we need our card base. And to start, I need my strips that are the two strips that are one and three quarters by four soft sea foam. I'm going to start with those. So let's see. Where is my glue? I'm going to go ahead and grab my large bottle of Tombow. Clean it off here. Okay, so you will want these two strips to be glued like so. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how I do them. I hold them next to where I'm going to glue them because I don't want glue past this line. Oh, there's a bit of a glue goober on there. So... I, you could use tear tape. I am just using Tombow, just putting some like so. The main important thing is, is you want this coming in towards the card. So next thing I'm going to do is pick it up, make sure it's straight on all the corners, that it's lined up nicely. Just feeling it with my hands. There we go. We're going to do the same to this one, and you could do it like this if you wanted. I just happen to lay it next to it, so I know I don't want to go um, <clears throat> beyond that point. Next, we're going to do the same to the bottom piece. You can see I got a little off. That's why I used my fingers and just guide it into place. This card kind of interlocks together. It's really cool. Okay. <clears throat> Next, I'm bringing in the 1 and 8 sixteenths by 4. Like I said, this is for my middle piece here. And I made it slightly larger because I didn't like this large gap in the middle. And this piece moved on me. I can already tell. So I got to pull this up. It doesn't matter. It's going to go right back there. But that cannot stay. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay. That got a little wonky. So. I'm going to glue this back down. This happens. It happens while you craft it. So now you get to see it happening to me while I'm videoing. Um, I'm not going to bother cutting another one. This is my sample. I'll be making another one in class. I just want it to stay straight. I don't know how I moved it, but I did. Okay, so now we have it down. Next, we're going to work with this middle piece. And this middle piece is getting glued on the opposite side of the card. So I am going to put this next to it here because this is where it needs to go. I am not getting close to the edges because I don't want any glue there. So I bring this in. Now I'm just going to line it up at the edge. Try to keep it as straight as possible. And there we have our card base is ready to go. You can see it. It folds nice and flat. Okay, next we're going to be adding our um, <clears throat> DSP pieces on there. So I'm grabbing all three. We have three pieces of DSP cut at one and five eighths by three and three quarters. Now we get to decide which one. I know for sure I want the soft sea foam in the center. I think I'm going to go with the fresh freesia up top and the copper down below. I just knew that I wanted the fresh freesia. Um, and they will have a different border around them, but that's okay for me. So let's get this one glued down first. Onto our fresh freesia, which is going to have the wider border. Okay, next I'm going to go with the copper. Oof, that's pretty too, but no. Not changing my mind now. I had this card designed out in my head and I'm going to stick with it for as long as I can before I feel I have to change it. 
uh, if it just doesn't work out. Now you could have adhered these to the uh, strips before you glued the strips in place. I just happened to not do that. Really pretty. I love this foil. Um, I've really struggled. I have didn't start uh, doing any cards with this until after I got my measurements for creativity now because I didn't want to cut up my paper and uh, then not have it for, you know, what I signed up for. So there you can see our card base is coming together. So now we are going to start adhering the soft sea foam onto the fresh freesia. <clears throat> And like I said, this is where I added that extra uh, square, which would be the fresh freesia, the three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Um, I just liked pulling in the extra color. This is going to get glued right there. It doesn't matter which way you turn it because it's all going to be the same, but we're not going to adhere anything next. So that took care of these two measurements okay so i'm going to set those aside so i don't lose them next we have our square that is two and three quarters and we're going to do some stamping on here give me a sec i need a sip of water <clears throat> and we're going to do some stamping on our scraps mm. so we can see Let's see what we got. I got some glossy. I'm going to try the glossy first just to see what it looks like. We got all our trimmings to make our card very pretty. Um, I am going to start with uh, maybe. I th okay, I think I'm going to start with the stays on. I wasn't originally going to stamp this uh, lined image in black, but I'm going to go ahead and try it. Why not? Like I said, I've got plenty of paper and you guys can see and stays on is fine because it's a red rubber stamp. So I'm going to stamp this flowery image right here. Oh, okay. I'm going to set that aside for a minute because it's unglossy and I'm going to stamp it again on regular. This is actually, uh, what was the other white called? That's what with basic white in can't remember now <laughs> but I have a quite a bit of it so <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna set that is done next I want to stamp um, some of the bees so we're gonna do several um, I'm only gonna I think be using one but I'm gonna stamp one on the glossy down here Oh, that didn't come out well. So let's do it again right there. It's plenty of room. That came out nice. Then I'm going to do a couple on this. Just because I've got two different stamp and write markers. And I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. So I'm going to set that one aside. Next, I'm bringing in the Let's Celebrate. And I think I'm going to test it out before I do it. I'm going to stamp the Let's Celebrate. I'm believing I'm going to use this little die for the Let's Celebrate. And I'm thinking I want it like this. I know it fits in this semicircle. So let's just stamp it right there. And then I need to stamp it again <laughs> on the glossy, just in case I go with the glossy idea, okay? Not sure yet which one I'm going to go with, but we're going to be prepared. All right. <clears throat> the stamp for the inside, I'm not stamping yet. So I think that's all for that. Let's get this aside. And let's practice on these bees. So I brought in two stamp and write markers. Um, this is so saffron. This is Daffodil Delight. And let's see. I'm thinking I like the Daffodil Delight 
for my little bee. We'll do one in the saffron. Um, but now I realized I need another marker to do a little bit of coloring on his wings. I'm really liking the daffodil delight. So I'm setting that one aside. And I need some kind of a gray color, a pale blue. Let's see, what is this? I'm grabbing Sahara Sand. Those are both Sahara Sand for whatever reason. And then, <clears throat> okay. Let's see. We got a couple of choices. What is this one? Smoky Slate. I think we'll do Smoky Slate on the bee's little body. Yep. Smoky Slate it is. Oh, that is not a light blue. That is Bermuda Bay. That is not the blue I meant to grab. If I even have. Oh, I don't have any. Let's see. What is this blue? Ooh, misty moonlight I wanted to give just <clears throat> I'm not sure I can do that that is so dark all right we are not doing that at all you know what we can do bring in some wink of Stella and use it like a brush and we are gonna go with some balmy blue. Never know what you can bring in. I just want a little bit of color in those wings of the bee. And I don't have a balmy blue Stampin' Right marker. Brush it off some. I'm just bringing, and it'll give it a little, that might be too dark. This one's much better, the middle one. I don't want all that. Just a little bit of color. Hopefully you can see this gets even better the more I use it the lighter <clears throat> let me bring this down so you can get a good look at what I'm doing you see this one is dark this one's good but this one is the best so we are going to do that also <clears throat> on our glossy image so I'm just picking up some of this light color around it starting from the center brushing it outward maybe I need a little bit more get a little closer there I just want to give it a hint of color so it's not stark white starting at the center and moving it yes uh, dragging it out I just Keep wanting a little bit more. Now, because this is alcohol based, yeah, wipe it off really good, but don't leave um, the alcohol in there that you rubbed on. You want to get a tissue. Let me grab I have a paper towel right here by me and just wipe that out really well because this is a water-based ink up here. You don't want to mix those two. So an extra color, balmy blue. But we are bringing in the Daffodil Delight for this bee. You can see that it works a whole lot different than um, in the smoky slate for his body. I really like that be the best. So hopefully it'll get it cut out nicely. All right. So let's see. Next, we're going to work on this leaf image. And I brought in a couple of colors. And we're going to start with the pear pizzazz. <clears throat> and you will see that this image, everything, it, it doesn't line up. It drove me crazy. I'm going to stamp it first because I'm not sure I want that dark pear pizzazz. I don't. And it, it's just really an artistic, I guess, there we go. And then right there. All right. And then I'm going to do this a couple of times. Oops. 
I don't want to smear it. I am bringing in now the soft sea foam. I'm going to give this a quick clean with my chamois here. I know it's not in camera, but I don't think you mind. And the soft sea foam, I want full strength. And I'm really thinking I like this glossiness of it. I just, I wish they would bring back. But like I said, you can do photo paper. So I am going to go a little off of where I did before and just fill this in a bit like so. I am happy with that. Oh, okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to, well, we got to do the other one. So while we're waiting for this one to dry a bit, because like I said, it's on glossy paper. Let's start with the soft sea foam this time. And then we're going to go to the pear pizzazz. I'm going to close this up. <clears throat> and I know I haven't stamped on the square yet, but I'm going to bring in a different image, I think, for the square. Okay, so we're going to do, did we do full strength? We sure did. So now bring it there and down there. I'm not really crazy about that. Or let's see what image we have for our square. And our square is not glossy. And I intended, even if I used the glossy, because we're going to die cut it, I thought it would just be really pretty with that, that glossiness on it. I'm looking for my stamp case. Because I'm thinking now we need... Um, maybe even just this image on our paper. And I'm not going to do the, uh, let's get this on here. I'm not going to do the filling in because that would be too much. But I think I am going to do a couple of stampings. <clears throat> and I think we're going to go with. We can first stamp it in pear pizzazz and see if I like that green. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Let's try the soft sea foam because I'm thinking I'm not liking that. I knew I would bring something else in, but let's just see. Because I want it to be subtle. Yeah, if I can open the soft sea foam. We're just going to go with soft sea foam. I'm ready for it. Are you? I'm ready. Definitely. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little bit like so. Yes. And even bring those up like that. Oh, I'm happy with this so far. All right. There we go. Like a piece of DSP we just created. That's really good. Um, <clears throat> then we layer our other images on it. It should be really, really pretty. So let's get to the die cutting. Let me set all of these out in a way. And that. And we don't need this, but I need to lift my camera up and... I know I don't do a lot of die cutting on camera, but I am. I'm bringing in my little mini machine. You see where I keep it. And it's a little plate. So let's see. We need the base white plate and the two clear plates. We don't need the embossing plate. So I'm going to open it up. And let's see. <clears throat> let's cut this one first. And this is where, where's my washi tape? I use washi tape. So it does line up with the lined image, if you want to call it that. We are going to put that there. 
and we're going to give this a quick pass. This machine is very, very easy. And the best thing to do is keep these off. Uh, you don't want them directly on top of each other. If you keep them off each other, it goes through really nicely. So there's one of our images. We could use one for the inside if we so choose. So let's set that aside. I wonder if we can get the little bee going at the same time here. If I can. Because I know this little bee is really great. Yes. I need another little piece of washi tape. And I'm not kidding. The best washi tape is used washi tape. <laughs> I, I stick it to my clothing before I put it on my cardstock. And I save it until I can't use it anymore. And it seems like the more I use it, oh, we can do all of this at one time, the better it gets. Let's see. And one more little piece. So I got it stuck to my little rolling cart on the edge here. And this just is securing it down for me so I know it's not going to move. And let's give this a run through the machine. <clears throat> now let's see how these came out. I know I really want the glossy images. I was a little worried about my placement on this one, but we'll see. Oh. Dang it. You see how, well, this will work on the card. Come on, it's my sample. Okay, I'm going to set all of those aside, but I do want to run the other bees, if I can find them, for the inside of the card. We'll put two little bees, so I'll have to do this two more times. Because they only gave us one bee die. Sometimes when you have little images like this, stamping up is really great about... Um, giving you more than one die, and I love that. I wish they had done it with these little bees, because who wants one little bee? Not me. I want a couple. So there's that one. And we just need to pop him out and do one more. And these are not on the glossy paper, but that's okay, because they're going to go on the inside. I got Wink Costella on those wings, and I'll have to hold it up so you can really see because it's really showing quite well. <clears throat> we'll have to do some stamping on the inside. Okay, so let me get this all put away. Snap, snap. And we're going to get this card going. So, where is my, this was my idea, I wanted to put this here, you know what, we'll do it this way, no, I don't want it, I wanted to put the Let's Celebrate down here, this here, and where's my glossy bee, I need my glasses. There's my little glossy bee. He's going to be right there. I am liking that. I'm going to scoot this. Oh, we have ribbon. Don't forget the, the cute little details here. <clears throat> okay. This will be, if I can open it. Open, open, open. Why is it so difficult to open the ribbon? almost forgot this gorgeous it is seam binding ribbon but it's in that soft sea foam and let's see i'm thinking we run it we could run no because the lines are going this way maybe we'll do a little yeah we'll do a bow too so let's get this on there and i'm looking for my handy dandy friend scotch tape <laughs> It just went way back there. 
So I, I cut way more ribbon than I needed. I cut five inches, but I want it nicely on here. Let's see. Have that running. Oh, we might have to put let's celebrate up a bit. We should have done it this way. <laughs> oh, well, not today, but on my next ones, I think I will have it doing that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do it this way. I wasn't going to do it, but now I'm going this way. I, I can change my mind if I want to. Right? I can. It's my prerogative to change my mind. Not just because I'm a woman, but because I'm a person. And... I am capable of changing my mind. <laughs> I like that much better. So we're going to put, let's celebrate here. We're going to put that up on some dimensionals, which I need to get out of the drawer. We'll grab some of those, some of those. And let's see, two should make it for this. I shouldn't need any more than that. And the glossy photo paper is very, very sturdy. So I'm going to set that right at the bottom. Now this, I am, do I want it on top like so? Or do I want it? We're going to cut the tail off here. I just don't want that on there. I kind of like having it down that way. So I'm going to put a glue dot here and here. and then dimensionals on it. So a glue dot there and paper pumpkin glue dots. You would be surprised at how far they can go. <laughs> I have had these. I keep my little paper pumpkin. My mini dimensionals are all from paper pumpkin. Okay. Cause sometimes I'll use large ones. Sometimes I won't use them. I change the projects up. Um, so you'd be surprised. Paper pumpkin is the best, uh, product out there. If you ask me from stamping up from any paper crafting, it's reasonable. It's, it, it's just so much fun. I love not knowing what it is until you get it in the mail. I love that a surprise it's a birthday present <laughs> it's christmas every single month it's so much fun even when i struggle i have fun with some of the pro oh gosh so cute okay and our little bee i really want a tiny tiny little bow so let's see how tiny with this seam binding ribbon you can get some tiny stuff and it lays flat so let's make a wee little bow here. Hmm. That looks a little better. Let's see. That might be too tiny, Alice. <laughs> okay. So we're going to go this width. And this is just a bow maker my husband made out of a two by six. <clears throat> Some little wooden dowels that came in a package from the dollar store. And he just drilled some holes for me. Pull it nice and tight. And what was really cute is that he made them also hold here. And I also use this with to make some bows. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, I'm going to stick it right there. So cute. So stinking cute. Do, 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 do. not stinking cute so mmm smelling cute <laughs> it's really cute okay I'm gonna hold the ends together give them a cut now that trinket what do I do with that trinket we haven't used this so let's see if I can find a spot and I haven't oh I still have elements to go on here that I cut and we haven't, we could stick that up like that. 
I don't like that end on there. Okay. You know what else? I have die cut all these pieces for the card in some copper foil. And I shouldn't have glued that down. But let's lay these elements in here. Oh, so pretty. Hmm. I wonder if I can get this up. Sorry, y'all. You know, oh, that one didn't even get the paper backing off of it. Okay. I can work with this. I can do this. Let me set that little guy down. Um, which ones, which ones? We have all of these. Look at these. Gorgeous. I was going to put this one. Ah, it's kind of stuck on the inside. This one, though. Ooh. I can have it going right to the top. I'm going to cut this one off because it didn't. Oops. You know me. I'll cut these things apart. I am going to do that right now. So I'm going to cut that off. And I'm going to cut that off. And I'm going to use my reverse tweezers. Sorry that this video is going to go <coughs> a bit long. I'm looking for a wee little narrow glue bottle to start here. Get it started. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to add... Um, my glue. I'm okay with it going off the edge there. Kind of looks kind of cool. Where's the other element I cut? Just kind of holds it for me so I can get glue on it. Very, very pretty stuff. Yeah. Oh, bring that in a bit. Release it. So it's right. Oh, yeah. It's going to be behind there. Perfect. Next, we're going to layer. I think we're going to put this one over here. Okay, I'm not thinking we are. That's what I'm doing. If you have the sweet, I recommend you sit and die cut the dies in foil, different colors. And then playing just like this, because this is me having a great time. Um, I shouldn't have put all that glue on the back of that. But that's okay. That's all right. I wish I don't know why I'm doing the clicking thing. I don't ride horses. I've tried. My sister is a horseback rider. I never really was. Okay, so this little one may go on the inside. That one, maybe that's all it needs. Now let's get our dimensional. We'll need a wee bit of glue here on both sides, but we're going to put it back in its spot if it'll stick in there again and add a dab of glue there and then take the paper backing off that one though it saved me not oh look at that and I still want my bow right there I want my bumblebee flying around up there and we could put this trinket. Okay, the trinket's not going to make it. Sorry, y'all. <clears throat> trinket's bothering me. <laughs> but we're going to cut this uh, right down here and just use this top half of it. And if you've never cut your dies apart, go for it. Don't be afraid to say, I don't need that part because you get such different looks in depth when you do that and you place it 
because this piece was just too high for my liking and see now it's tucked way down in there this okay trinkets no that's not happening our B is going up on a dimensional if I can find my uh let's see I think those all will go on him maybe maybe not we'll have to see nope maybe in pieces but not all at once nope oh, just the one and there is our b and then i need a glue dot or two for my I'm thinking I like having my needle on a piece of string. Okay, I'm going to put that right there. Oops, fell right out of my hands. I have to say a big thank you to Connie Stewart for doing a card like this on her YouTube channel because I am just loving it. Okay, so thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, this card would not be possible without her. Um, so I just am in love with it. Now we are going to glue it. Uh, why don't we pop it up? Yeah, let's pop it up. Dimensionals. We'll put this little one in there just because. Get it. All taken care of. Oh, I don't want the minis. I want the large ones. So one, two, three. <clears throat> and this one just because this is going to be a great card for class. I can't wait to show this. Now that I have a design for it, what was in, this is better than what I pictured in my head. So much better than what was in my head. Okay. Oh, okay. Let's, we got to, I keep saying, okay, okay, okay. But we have those elements we're still going to use. I have these I can use because I cut them. Oh, we have these little dots. Oh, so pretty. I don't know about adding all these colors. I might just add some basic jewels onto the card because that might be a little uh, too much, but I can see the, let's see. I mean, sometimes you think what you're going to use and sometimes you change your mind. I'm, I can already say no. Where's my little card? elements though all right so here we go look at how gorgeous that is and it just ties all the colors in from the dsp so we are going to need score tape for this um, because this is foily and it'll take too long for the glue so i am adding the tear tape just to the center of this because i don't want it my square does not go. I'm going to add three pieces. I want it to be well insecured down. So, because it's sometimes I rub the score tape, sometimes I don't. But on here I will. <clears throat> if you've never tried. If you have a hard time getting these up, like my nails are really shot because I clean all the time and they just get brittle. Uh, try using a needle. The take your pick tool is great for some things, but honestly, I love using that little needle. I I'm just being honest with you. Okay, here we go. It's down. Look at that. The inside is next, but let's put some bling on the front. And we are going to start with right here in the corner. I think we're going to do five. Um, maybe just three. We'll see here in a second. 
I may not want to. Yeah, we're going to do three. I was going to put some up here and up here, but I don't want any attention drawn there. I want all the focus on the center square, and I'm very pleased with that center square. Very pleased. I mean, this is so, so pretty. Okay, the inside. Now, should we do glossy? Oh, so pretty. Because I have this glossy sheet, which I'm wondering. It's just so pretty. No, but let's, let's not. That means I need, um, I don't know if I have any white cut, but I have a card base I can cut apart. There we go. I can cut the card piece up really quickly if I can find my guillotine. Um, and you know what? We're going to go. This is such a pretty card. We're going to even go farther than that. We are going to bring in a piece of fresh freesia. Here we go. Our fresh freesia is going to be cut for, um, no, three and a half by five. Okay, so we need this piece. I need one of these anyways. And this card base was from Paper Pumpkin. This last Paper Pumpkin. All right, so if I cut that at three and three quarters, I need this cut at three and a half by four and three quarters. And then we are going to do some stamping on it. This should snuggle beautifully. Oh, it is. Let's just make sure. Do you see that? It's going to bring that fresh freesia in and our white. And we are going to stamp on here with what shall we use? Um, all right. We are going to go with stays on. And I'm going to bring in my scratch paper. Let me see if I can make sure this is in camera. I get so excited with what I'm doing. Sometimes I forget. So I'm going to ink this detailed images up with the stays on and stamp in the color just like we did on the front. I am going to bring this down there. Oh, Okay. I'm going to take that off real quick because now I want this image. And like I said, these images are very, I want to say artsy fartsy. <laughs> kind of, they don't line up. They, they, they bug me a bit in that instance. Um, but the effect is very pretty. Um, it, it's just my own personal issue. So you'll see what I mean. But I'm going to do that there. And then I'm going to come in here and here just to fill it in a bit more. <clears throat> now this one, I am going to drop this down upside down just to be playful. On the side. Okay. And here we go. And let's see, right there. Very pretty. Next, I'm not going to close that up because we're going to do our envelope. This is for the inside. Much love in your new life together. And we are going to do this in stays on. I'm going to do a test stamping first. Really think this is pretty. Gorgeous card. Gorgeous card. That is cricket, folks. Ah, Just, okay, it's going to stay. It is a sample, Alice. I'll do better on my next one. I'll have to. Oh, I could get an oval and we're not, we're not going to go that far. Okay, envelope time. Before we go doing... 
anything else let's stamp our envelope 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 it's up to you um we're gonna go ahead and do i think we're gonna do this one just because that is we're gonna do this here we're gonna do a wee bit of one and where's my bumblebee and we're going to bring in our wee little bumblebee right there and stays on is now completely done we need our leafy image just in so saffron know that, that really that gets me <laughs> okay so we need our daffodil delight to finish our little bumblebee in and here we go i'm not going to worry about his wings i will do his wings in the wink of stella in the smoky slate for his body oh no let's see no i'm like it's just the envelope. There we go. And we have two little bees to glue on to our insert piece here. One up here. Yeah, if I could get it off. And one down there. Really, really cute little bees. Busy little bees. There's one. And I do apologize, but this is a very detailed card. That's why the video went so long, even with all my prep work. Now let's glue this onto its counterpart, the Fresh Freesia. And insert it into our card. And we have done our card on and envelope. You could do a gift card. This would be a beautiful wedding card. Beautiful wedding card, actually. Um... <clears throat> Oh, we need the glue still. I want to just move my ink pad so they don't get on the card. Now, knowing me, I'm going to re-stamp a piece of white and re-stick it all over the center. <laughs> but off camera, because we're done. But I will fix that. So here is our Splendid Day Suite card inspired from the lovely Connie Stewart of Simply Simple Stamping. Thank you for this wonderful fold. I absolutely love it. And I hope you all think this card is as gorgeous as I do. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know. If you don't like it, that's okay. Um, like I said, and I will see you all again in my wonderland. Bye-bye now.